Hi, kids. I wasn't actually going to talk about any of the stuff going on, but with everybody just freaking out, you know, the guy in the White House and that other witchy woman calling for gun bans. <coughs> I figured I got to come in here and poke my head in and say hi. First off, this is my carry gun. This is a loaded magazine. I'm going to put it right by the gun. I'm willing to bet that I'm going to still be alive, even though I say gun, shoot me if you can. We're going to leave it there and see what happens. We'll check it out. If you hear a bang, that means the gun went off by itself. Loaded itself, went off by itself. So just keep that in mind. There's been a lot of people that have been shot by an unloaded gun. All right, so you hear a lot of calls now for banning of assault rifles. An outright ban, picking up every one of them. M Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. First off, an AR-15 is not an assault rifle. It's not capable of fully automatic fire. It's not, by definition, an assault rifle. Also, the guy in Orlando didn't use an AR-15. He used a SIG MCX. So all you people say, no, oh, ban the AR, is this what you use? Just shut the hell up. You don't know the hell you're talking about. So let's start there. Now, you want to get into AR-15s. Here's an AR-15. Semi-automatic only. Gas operated. Has a safety. Has a fire switch, you know. Has an iron sight, flip up rear sight, collapsible stop. It's black, has a pistol grip, and it's scary looking. Ooh. Don't know what a barrel oh, shot okay, I think it's, in your it's a shoulder thing that goes up. Let me show you something right quick. This is a Remington 742. This is also a gas operated gun. Has a safety on it, has a butt stock. No pistol grip, but you know what? The operation of it is exactly the same as the AR-15. It also has, guess what, a detachable mag. You want to know something else cool about this gun? And for you uh, liberal types, this is going to just blow your mind. This is an AR-15 bullet. This is a 223. It is a full metal jacket bullet. It is designed to wound, not to kill. By definition, it is designed to wound because, Bueller, Bueller, here you go, you're gonna like this. The Geneva Convention says you cannot use this type of bullet, a ballistic tip bullet, because it is cruel and inhumane. It causes too great a damage to the body. So, they went with the full metal jacket. The full metal jacket is intended to wound because when you take off when you wound a guy, you actually go ahead and take three people off the battlefield because people have to take care of the guy versus just killing him and taking, you know, taking one guy off the battlefield. So this is your AR-15 bullet. Scary, scary, scary. The most powerful bullet in the world. Wait a minute. The 742, which is the same operating system as the AR-15 and is a hunting rifle that nobody is bitching about, shoots this round. The 30 odd 6 with a ballistic tip. It does way more damage to anything it hits. They use it for hunting because it dispatches the animal more humanely. So everybody saying, oh, it was designed to kill the AR-15. It's a killing machine. Guess what? You're wrong about that shit too. Shut the hell up again. Okay. You'll notice I have a bunch of guns here. This is a machine gun. This is not. I have an AK-47. All these magazines are loaded. Why are they loaded? I don't normally have them in this close of proximity, but I'm the only one messing with them. And I'm doing this to prove a point. These inanimate objects are not going to come up and shoot me. They're not going to load itself. I could load this gun right here, and it's not going to shoot me. I'm not going to because that's not safe. It's not smart to do. But it would not shoot me. It's not going to go off by itself. It's a friggin' inanimate object. Okay, here we go. 50 cal round hammer liberal types this will blow your mind if I hit this hammer on this 50 cal and it goes off and it shoots me in the foot what should we ban the hammer or the bullet quick 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 you stupid fucking idiots listen if you don't know what the hell you're talking about shut the hell up don't make judgments for other people this is a ghost gun this right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 
the U.S. was founded on guns. The U.S. is here because of guns. And you're like, oh, well, they're right to bear arms meant muskets. Actually, you know what? It meant cannons, too. Yeah, cannons. Cannons were in civilian hands. That's where they got them from. There was no military. There were civilians. They had firearms. They had muskets. They had cannons. So, you know what? You can still have a cannon. So take that to the bank. Think about that shit. I had a couple other things I was going to say. And quite frankly, I'm getting a little pissed off. So um, I kind of forgot. But uh, my main point is this. Look, still haven't loaded itself. I'm still here. I'm still not shot. What do you think about that? Uh, oh, you know, how about this? Uh, I own a gun store. Incidentally, you can buy this AR-15 at my gun store. So uh, I own a gun store in Scott, Louisiana called Acadiana Gun Works. Anytime, you know, moms demand action, President Obama, the witchy woman who's running for president. Anytime y'all want to come and uh, boycott me or uh, protest me or whatever, hell yeah, I'll, I'll send you some invites. Come protest me, man. We'll get the media out here. Well, I'll, I'll serve cookies and cake. I do that. You've seen the videos. I do cookies and cake. Punch and pie. Juice, punch, punch and punch pie. And pie. Tell them we'll have punch and pat. We're not going to have punch and pie. My people will come if they think we have punch and pat. I'll do that for you. You know why? Because you're going to bring me a lot of attention. A lot of people are going to come down here and buy guns from me. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. You know, because every time you fools open your mouth, I, I sell a crap load of guns. M Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. No, people, I want to see people disarmed. Permits, they actually I have, want they people disarmed that are made in major uh, cities. How's that for a plan? Job? The pair of you That's would like there. to have the right to have a tank. And oh, oh, President Obama now you're proposes to gun control. You want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, as I told my wife. This is a ghost gun. This right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. I'm not really going to, well, let me put it like this. I'm not going to bitch about that. I, I own a business. I like selling guns. It's what I do. I like selling a lot of guns to responsible gun owners. Uh, but the thing is, I don't want people to be scared into it because of what our idiots in charge say. Not me. It's the guy at the top. Do you want a proof of it? Our latest shooter. Yes, he passed background checks after he'd been investigated by the FBI. Well, you're thinking, well, why the hell did that guy, was that guy able to get any gun? You know, after being under investigation with the FBI. Well, I'll tell you why. If it was me, I wouldn't be able to. I'd be denied. But you know what I am? Not a minority. That's right. Yeah, good call there. Basically, if they wouldn't have given him his gun, he could have gone ahead and sued him for profiling, racial profiling. And he'd have probably won because our law system's all screwed up. So, you, you want to change laws, how about this? Why don't you just enact and enforce the laws that are already there? Uh, you know, here's a good one. Somebody does a straw purchase, they rarely get, they rarely get any kind of jail time, don't get a slap on the wrist, they don't go after him. Vice President Joe Biden said himself, they don't have the time to go after people like that. Well, you know what? Make the fucking time. How about that? You know, deterrent. If they if they commit a crime, lock them up. You know, as opposed you know as opposed to putting these piddly ass guys who are in jail for a year or smoking a joint, or I don't know some other silly ass crime. Why don't you get people who are trying to buy guns illegally? And since you already have a law on it, you know you you like laws. You like doing laws. Put those bastards in jail. Think about that. Huh. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. My mouth gets a little dry when I get a little mad. So. Now here's a commercial. Purified water. Ooh. I don't drink it out of the tap. It's like lead in there. Democrats did that. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm not political. But really, the Democrats did it. Uh, Alright, the level of ignorance that I'm hearing from from everybody, especially those on the left, is astounding. Is. Look, just just because you're a thoughtless, mindless pussy. And you're afraid of everything that you see or hear. Doesn't mean, you know, the rest of the world is. Myself, I, I kind of like going through life unafraid. You know, it's, it's my thing. I'm not worried all the time. I'm not scared that, 
you know, I'm just not scared. If you're going to be scared all the time, do me a favor. Don't make laws. Just live in a bunker. Throw your cell phone out the window. Throw the internet out because you'll definitely freak out if you watch the internet. And just leave us the hell alone. Okay? And I cannot wait to the guy up there in the White House gets the hell out of it. And Trump gets in, by the way. Yeah, I endorsed him. That's cool. Well, who do you think I'd endorse? The witchy woman?